Yeah, yeah. hello, hello. Um, greetings from a wonderful, wonderful forest here in the eastern part of so-called Finland. A really beautiful old forest, like pretty much as old as forest can be here in so-called Finland. Um, forest as old as since after the Ice Age and I'm here together with group of other activists from different movements, different organizations, um, people who are devoted and in love with the woods here. And yeah, it's really just a beautiful experience to be here. What is <laughs> somehow interesting also is that we humans are somehow um, in need to protect these forests from ourselves. So the Finnish um, Metsa Haripus, the forest and park service are yeah, currently interested to do logging operations and as long as we are here they are not logging which is really nice on the other hand um, it's worrying me that there is still the intention to do logging and it's like somehow i find it easy to to say that how stupid can you be that's a halibus um and at the same time, I feel that it's not so easy to say that Metsa Halibus is the guilty ones here. Um, because it's all of us, it's us humans who are so stupid here. And these are forests that have a huge old diversity. Um, it's wonderful to see the amount of lichens. Um, there was just a bit earlier some tracks of wolverine and there are some really um yeah I, I mean it's just so beautiful here and and just to know that there is very very few spots left like this um like most people don't get to see these places because there are so few of them left and we are really dependent our life our survival is dependent on diverse nature and we are only existing because of life and all its diversity and now we are um, able to access these places and log them very efficiently with all kinds of machineries and turn them into to, into what actually right we are turning these woods um, well we are we humans think about wood but also we think about the forest and the forest is the magic that happens between the trees and in the trees and under the trees and because of the trees and i think there's not much difference between forest and humans like when you think that forest is kind of the the thing that was the most dominant um place and and we are just part of it we're just in the middle of it and and we are not understanding how extremely important these are like we're not understanding this maybe and it's just it's just so beautiful to be here and i i hope that whoever um, might be watching this video that we really think twice about how do we use these resources and it's very easy not to know when we are using these resources because we might be you know just ordering something um from from the internet that has been packaged in in trees right packaged in cardboard that comes from these trees and or something that has been you know that is packaged in the supermarket w whatever we do whatever we buy whatever we not buy is having impact on the forests of our world positive or negative impact so i think it's really good to be careful about this and it's really good to be aware that these places are extremely important for our survival. They're not only important for, for the sake of the forest, for the, for the life of all the other species here. They're actually important for you and me. They're important for us, for our species. Um, and yeah, as you can see, there's fresh snow. Um, one of the first snows in the seasons and um, I'm actually walking around here and um, looking where there are these where other humans have put uh, these red ribbons on the trees to mark um, these areas which should be logged and sometimes it seems that these red ribbons are missing 
which I think is a good thing. And sometimes we've seen that these blue ribbons start to appear out of nowhere. Like blue ribbons mean that this tree should be protected. So that's also a good thing, I think. Um, I'm trying to figure out how all this happens, how the red ones disappear. And the I mean, it doesn't really matter so much. It's important that this place stays here. And it's in all our interest, even if we s if we get financial gain out of cutting these trees, that financial gain is totally irrelevant compared to what we lose if we cut them and compared to what we gain, what we win if we do not cut those trees. If we leave these forests here, we might have a chance to talk about these trees to our grandchildren and show it to them. Hmm. Okay, looking forward to the future with trees like this. Have a good time. Bye bye.